guys, today we have the Verni Apollo versus the OnePlus 3T. I'm going to show you the comparisons, go through the camera and the basic speed and performance of the actual phone opening and running apps. So let's go through some comparisons now at the moment. Verni Apollo has a 2K screen while the OnePlus 3T has a 1080p screen. As you can see here, both are whacked up to full brightness. All right, and you can see the OnePlus 3T is much more vibrant and has more life in there. And the Verni Apollo does look a little bit on the dull side there. They're both 5.5 inch screens, and the Apollo has got 2.5D art glass, and the OnePlus 3T has Gorilla Glass 4. The Verni Apollo is Android 6, with no indication of any update at the moment, and the OnePlus 3T is now rocking Android 7 with the Oxygen OS while the Verni Apollo is very, very much stock Android. OnePlus 3T has quad-core CPU with a Snapdragon 821 chipset and Helio X25 octa-core on the Verni Apollo. So more cores, more processing power in the Verni Apollo, so it seems. OnePlus 3T has a massive 6 gigabytes of RAM and the Verni Apollo has 4 gig of RAM, which both um, are decent, decent sizes really. 64 gigabytes of ROM and 64 gigabytes of ROM on the Apollo as well, similar in that respect. So we look at the, uh, the bottom of the phones here, both have USB Type-C connectors and both are fast charging, although I do believe myself that the OnePlus 3T is slightly faster at charging. The, the OnePlus 3T has a 3400 milliamp battery and the Apollo has 3180. I can tell you now that the OnePlus 3T has much better battery life than the Apollo. The Apollo I had to charge at least twice a day to get me through the day. The OnePlus 3T lasts me a day nicely. I also think that's due to the fact that this has got octa-core processor, a 2K screen as well, so the battery isn't really going to provide that much life on the Apollo compared to the, the 3T. Both have speakers and microphones at the bottom of there. And if you notice on the OnePlus 3T, they have the headphone jack at the bottom of the phone, whereas Verni Apollo is at the top. So if we look at the left-hand side of the OnePlus 3T, on the left there you have the volume up and down rocker, and above that you have a mute switch. You can mute the OnePlus 3T, and you can also set it on Do Not Disturb. You have three switches there. And down the left-hand side of the Verni Apollo, you have the two SIM trays. You can have a dual SIM and you can have a micro SD card in there as well. So let's have a look on the other side. You can see clearly there the power button for the OnePlus 3T and above that you have a SIM tray. You can house two nano SIMs in there so you can run dual SIM. It doesn't have any expandable storage on the 3T. And if we pan round to the Verni Apollo, you have a volume rocker up and down and the power switch on that side as well. So if we have a look at the dimensions then, and what I'm going to start with here is thickness. You can definitely tell there's a uh, quite a massive difference really. The OnePlus 3T is only 7.35 mil thick as the Verni Apollo is 9.3, so around two mil difference. And when you're holding the phones, you, you can definitely tell a difference. I prefer the more thinner OnePlus 3T. It really sits in the hand a lot easier and feels a hell of a lot better than the Verni Apollo. Now the rest of the dimensions, um, really not much difference between them at all. The Verni Apollo is 152 mil long, whereas the OnePlus 3T is 152.7 mil long, so not much difference there. The width of the Apollo is 75.6, and the OnePlus 3T is 74.7, so the Apollo is slightly wider and obviously thicker. Okay, so if we come to the back of the phones, you can see straight away that they look pretty much identical with the antennas on the top of the bottom with that black band. The camera is situated in a similar position. The only difference really is the fingerprint sensor on the back of the Verni Apollo and obviously the OnePlus logo on the back of the 3T. 
Now the 3T camera is 16 megapixel on the rear and the Apollo is a 21 megapixel camera and I've took some photos and uh, videos in here earlier and uh, you can compare the two now. Okay, so the Bernie Apollo uh, video inside and um, there's a bit of a darkness to it. The room isn't actually this dark. Um, if you come out a little bit, seems to brighten up a little bit like that. There we go. Um, got a bit darker again, hasn't it? Okay, so video quality on the OnePlus 3T. Um, much brighter than on the Verne Apollo. If we come out, there's no real change. Cool. Now the front facing camera on the 3T is 16 megapixel as well. And the Verne Apollo is 8 megapixel. And both of these phones look beautiful from the back. Very, very similar finish. Okay, so let's get on to the performance and let me start straight away with the unlocking of the phone, uh, the fingerprint sensor. So on the front, it's the 3T and on the back, it's the Apollo. There it goes. And the Apollo missed it. Let's try again. 3T, slightly faster there. Bang on there. Bang on there. Bang on there. <laughs> cool. They're pretty good, to be honest. For me personally, the 3T is more responsive. Whereas the Vinny Apollo, you can have the odd occasion where it won't unlock after the first couple of attempts. Right, so let's have a look at opening apps, shall we? Make sure all the apps are closed so nothing is open. Okay, let's start. We're going to open up YouTube first. And... One plus three T just. Let's go back. Let's open up the Play Store. Three T just there as well. Let me do that one again. Similar. Do YouTube again. So the Apollo just edged it then. Quite neck and neck at the moment. Let's try speed test. Which one finishes? One plus three T is booted up. And while we're here, let's test speed test. Okay, so although the OnePlus 3T has low Wi-Fi signal, as you can see at the top on here, it is giving a better result in the speed test. So 23 meg down to 6 down, and 5 up to 2 up. So the OnePlus 3T wins on that. Let's open up settings, shall we? Hmm. Pretty similar. Candy Crush. Let's see. One plus three T. And the Verne Apollo just in behind. Now what I'm gonna do guys, I'm going to install an app. Run, Super Mario Run, let's do that one. Let's see which is quickest. So the downloading. So 3T is done. Let's 
Okay, so finally there, let's open both up. So, tap to begin, 3T just got there. Let's choose the same language. I'm not Albanian. Later. Agree. Nickname. Oh. Geek. Tick. Okay. So in game looks pretty much bang on da, 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 da. cool I'm happy with that power rangers what's this is it free Let's try the Power Rangers game. And it's ready to open on the 3T. Let's wait for the Apollo to catch up. And let's open these together. Additional file. So the three T is slightly ahead. Okay, let's install that. Okay, so the three T one there as well. The game is starting. Okay, the Apollo is just ahead there now. So the Apollo has booted up quicker. And the free tea is just there now. Okay, uh, so that concludes the speed test, guys. Uh, I think overall the three T just comes out on top there. Just talk about the sound very, very briefly. Um, the sound quality on the three T is much warmer and clearer than the Verney Apollo. There's definitely more of a warmth sound with the uh, with the three T. This is the three T. You might get a little bit of difference, I'm not sure. But it's definitely louder and warmer. And this one. The Apollo. It's not as loud and it's definitely not as warm sounding. In fact, the OnePlus 3T wins hands down on that one. Okay, guys, this is my comparison review concluded. Overall, this is, the 3T is around about £200 dearer than the Apollo. You can get the Apollo for around about £205 at the minute on Gearbest. This, at the moment, is going for about £400 or maybe in 380 in some of the sales, so it's nearly £200 uh, dearer. The OnePlus 3T is the better phone overall uh, in terms of performance and uh, camera and sound quality, 
But is it two, is it worth two hundred pound more than the Apollo? It's a tricky one. The Verney Apollo is really a great phone, and you can pick it up for around two hundred pounds. So, if you've got the money, then I'd get the three T. If you haven't, then the Apollo is definitely um, a decent substitute for the three T. Very very similar, as you can see, guys. So that concludes my review. I'll include a link in the description below if you want to take a look at both of the phones. Uh, if the video has helped, then please give the video a big thumbs up because it will help my video a lot. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, guys.